everybody, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome to my channel. And yes, I have a thrift haul for you today. I got some really nice things, and this is my final, and I do mean final, thrift haul for 2021. Yes, we are in December 2021. I cannot believe it. The year just has flown by, but it's been a good year. A year for new things and growth and all of that goodness. And I hope you guys had a blessed 2021 and I hope your 2022 is even better than 2021. So in this haul, it's a collective haul. I went to Goodwill. I went to Catholic Social Services and I even thrifted online. Yes, I thrifted off IG. I will make sure I leave that individual's page and information in the description box below. But yes, I got things for all times of the year. When I thrift, I don't necessarily thrift for the season that we are in. So I got a lot of summer things, guys, a lot of summer outfits. Like I say, when I thrift, I don't thrift for the season. I thrift for quality. I thrift for what I like. I thrift for the deals, you know, and I got some really great things. I just went to Catholic Social Services, which is a locally ran thrift store by the uh, Catholic uh, Church, and they were having a customer appreciation day, which I never knew. Don't you love surprises? Like when you just happen upon something and you're just like, what is going on? There were so many people and they were giving away prizes and doing drawings and all kinds of things. So they had buy one, get one free. They even had uh, 10 things for a dollar. You could get 10 things for a dollar. Well, I ended up uh, getting some dresses because they were buy one, get one free and they're all summer dresses. So I paid $2.50 for each dress. So I'm gonna show you that. But before I do, I'm gonna show you the non-clothing item that I picked up, which was only one thing. So if you like that type of thing, stick around, like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos. Okay. So this is the item that I thrifted that was non-clothing. It is a Harvey seatbelt bag. I have been wanting one of these bags for the longest. For the longest, do you hear me? And <laughs> I have seen them in the thrift stores, but they needed a little bit too much TLC for me, for my liking, and so I passed up on them. But this one was really great condition. It was clean on the inside. It did not smell, and I thought, black, you already know. Do I even have to say anything else? It's in black. I love black. <laughs> and it's the baguette style, which is really back in right now. Fendi has this kind of shape bag. There's so many uh, different brands that have this kind of baguette style bag. And I, will, I like that it's making its comeback. You know, the early 2000s, late 90s, you know, everything's in style these days, really though. So this one has feet on the bottom, which I like. It's very sturdy. I mean, you talk about quality. You're talking about nice. And this was made in the USA. That's what I love about Harvey's. Their products are made in the USA. And this is what the uh, brand looks like. So you can see. And then let's see here. Oh, it has another tag on the inside. And it has like a person like wearing a seatbelt on it. And then on the back, it just has the website on the back. And it's just an open interior. And I paid $6.60 for this cute little black baguette seat belt bag by Harvey. So that is the only non-thrifted, uh, or I should say non-clothing item that I thrifted. So we're gonna jump over to the clothing rack. I'm gonna show you what I got in the clothing items. Then I'm gonna style them for you. You know that's one of my favorite things to do is to style the clothes, give you a visual of different ways you can wear it. So make sure you keep watching. Um, what else was I going to tell you? I guess that's it, guys. Let's just jump over to the clothing rack and I'll do the styling after I show you the clothes up close. Oh, let me go ahead and show you the clothing items that I got. This is by the brand Moda International. I think Moda International, don't they sell that at like uh, JCPenney or I can't remember. One of the department stores, they sell that. So this is a wool blend and I did 
wash it in the machine, but then I hung it to dry. But I just love the peplum on it. And I like the fact that it was that winter white. And I just thought it was just too adorable to pass up. And then I got this skirt. And I believe I paid $2 for this skirt because it was half off. Just a cute little red A-line swing skirt. This is by Grace Elements. And I just love the flowiness of it. I just thought this was something that I could wear year round because it's that knit. And so this could be worn in the summer, spring, and winter, depending on how you style it. So I cannot wait to get a lot of wear out of this flouncy little flirty number. This one is an H&M and it's kind of like that trapeze tent style dress. I just love the colors in it. It's just like watercolors, like a work of art. Like a, I'll be a walking uh, painting, if you will. I just absolutely love the colors. So springy, so summery, very nice. Uh, I'm not sure if I can fit this really and truly, to be honest with you. It's a, well, it's a size eight, so I should be able to fit it. But sometimes H&M clothes run a little small, and sometimes in H&M clothes, I need like a 10. But this is a size eight, and I think it's really adorable uh, dress. And this is by Maya Brooke. I just picked this up because I love the colors in it. I just love that print and the colors in, I thought that would be cute. Now this one looks like it might be a little big, but looks can be deceiving. And that's why it's, you know, good to take chances on things. The uh, And Away brand, which is a Target brand. And I just thought this was so pretty. I love the floral print and the fact that it's on a black background is so me. It cinches in the waist, so it has a little tie. You have the flounce on the bottom. I just love that. It's just very feminine. You've got the little ruffles around the sleeveless uh, sleeve as well. So here's another one that I picked up. This is by Emma and Michelle, and this is a size medium. I just love the print, uh, the pattern on this one. I thought it was really, really nice. I love how the bodice is kind of loose and then it flares out. It's on the shorter side, but I still think it's cute. It has a tie in the waist and elastic as well. This is brand new at Ted's. This is a linen a uh, double-breasted blazer. Now, I'm not sure if this is like just a long blazer or as if you would wear this as a dress. I'm really not sure, but I'm gonna style it both ways. If it's a dress, it's gonna be like a mini dress, but you could wear this with linen pants. You could wear this with jeans. This is more of a spring and summer uh, style, but this is what got me, guys. This was originally priced at $129, marked down to $77.40. This is a Dillard's brand. This is Gibson and Latimer. And this was $10, guys, at Goodwill. $10 for a $129 valued um, attire or piece. So I just thought that pinstripe linen was just so refreshing. This is what I picked up on IG and I'll leave the information on the screen of the seller that I purchased from. Isn't this nice? This is a nice kind of cream uh, winter white. This is by Sagaru. It's a large, but it fits pretty good. I went ahead and took a chance, even though it was a large. And I like that you can cinch the waist in and give you like a little peplum, uh, more tailored look. It has pockets on the front. And this is what it looks like in the back. It's in really great condition. And you're not gonna believe I only paid $17 for this plus shipping. I thought that was an excellent deal. And I love her styling. On her uh, Instagram, she does stylings for whatever piece that she's uploading uh, for sale and she styles them for you so you can get a visual of what you could, the ways that you could wear it, which I think really helps in uh, you know selling an item. So I absolutely love her. I'm subscribed to her. You definitely go and subscribe as well. But those are all of the clothing items I got. Now we're ready to style and I can't wait. Let's do this. Sometimes you just gotta work with what you have in your closet. I would have loved if I had some off-white booties to wear with this, but I went ahead and went with my gray shoots booties. And these are American Eagle washed um, denim jeans that I've had for a very long time, skinny jeans. And just a off-white cable knit turtleneck sweater. And I'm showing you the options of wearing it open versus closed. Really, really stylish. Love the pearlized effect of this leather jacket. And I love that it has pockets as well. 
And I almost forgot to mention that the bag that I'm carrying is the Georgie Gym Crossbody Bag by Coach. I opted to wear this peplum top with a leopard print fitted skirt rather than the red skirt that was A-line because it competed with the peplum of the top. I feel like you need a straighter skirt when you're wearing a peplum top. So I have on my Tory Burch belt, some black pumps, black tights, and my Stuart Weitzman vintage handbag. For the next styling, I decided to go for a monochromatic red look, so these are my inspiration photos, and this is what I came up with. I'm wearing an H&M red top, a vintage limited suede belt, and some red hosiery and some red suede uh, pumps by Vince Camuto. And this is the look. I decided to go for a little change up with the bag and this is a Kurt Geiger tweed lace overlay bag and I think that the colors really pop against the red and it does have a little bit of red in it so it coordinates very well and I wanted to try something new normally the only monochromatic looks I've ever worn are black or white and I've never did an all red and you know how much I love red so this is something new for me and I kind of like it. You have to get used to it because it is a powerful kind of overpowering palette when you have all red on. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I really did try guys to wear this as a dress, but it was a no go. It was just way too short. All the goods would have been out. So it was definitely meant to be worn as a blazer. So I opted to go with the a jean look. These are my Ann Taylor skinny jeans. Um, and I paired them with my Gianni Beanie sandals and a white tank top and this is my unauthentic Gucci that I thrifted in a recent haul. If you have not seen that haul, please check it out. I'll leave it in the e-card up above. But I love this casual look. It's very pulled together and I love that this blazer has pockets on the sides. Absolutely adore this blazer and such a good deal. I cannot even believe I got this. Summer, summer, summertime, summertime. That is what this dress reminds me of. I love the colors in it. I love the flowiness and femininity of it. I styled it with this wicker circular bag, my same Gianni Beanie sandals that I always wear. Love them. And this is a look. And I know winter hasn't even begun yet. And I'm already, you know, ready for the summer. This dress is like a painting. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. I was pleasantly surprised at how much I love this dress. This actually turned out to be one of my favorites out of the entire haul. I like the length of it. I think it's perfect for church. It fits very well. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. And the colors and the pattern are bold enough to make a statement on its own. So you can go very subtle with the accessories. I'm carrying my vintage Liz Claiborne barrel shaped bag, wearing my Gianni Beanie go-to neutral colored sandals, but you could also style this so many different ways. You could pull out the yellow by carrying a yellow handbag and have an on yellow sandals. You could do a white handbag and white sandals. There are just a lot of different options. You could throw on a white cropped blazer with this look and have a more business, you know, situation going on. But let me know in the comments below what you think. I think this is my favorite. I spoke too soon. This is my favorite. Really, seriously, no, this is my favorite. And I am really shocked myself because normally I don't like busy patterns and prints, but the femininity and the flowiness and the flirtiness of this dress, I absolutely love it. And I like that it has a cinched waist so you still have a shape in this dress. I like the little V cut at the top. It does not button all the way to the top. It's meant to be open like that at the top. So it has that little V in the top and a flirtiness of that ruffle at the bottom. I just love it. I adore this dress. And I just paired it with my basic black accessories, my Henry Bindle bag and some black pumps. So for this next uh, dress, this is not one of my favorites. It's a little bit boxy. It really doesn't um, 
give enough shape for me, but I do still like the dress and I will wear it. I love the print and I do like that it ties at the waist. Uh, I'm wearing those same black pumps from the previous styling and just carrying a red bag for a pop of color. And that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in for my thrift haul, my final thrift haul of 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you liked. What have you been thrifting lately? I love to hear from you. Give me all the details like Denise Oates does. I love when Denise comments because she tells me all the good things you got. I love hearing about what you got. Caffeine Addict, thank you for joining in again. So glad you're back active and commenting. I love all of you. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. And um, I will be back before uh, Christmas. I will be uploading a few more videos. I wanna participate in a tag that is going around my most neglected bags tag. I wanna do that tag. Someone told me about it. So I think I'll do that, but I'll be coming back with more videos for you soon. And I love you guys. And remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so very much. And I love you too. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.